Roland and House Wolfort succeed in reclaiming Glenbrook, but they cannot rest easy, for new dilemmas threaten to tear the kingdom apart. For one, the secret of Sarah Noah's birth come to light with Lord Simon's passing. Meanwhile, the newly crowned King Roland struggles to reconcile his ideals with reality after punishing the royalists. Finally, there's the truth about the Roselle and the untapped salt crystals buried within the earth, revealed in a book to Frederica from her late mother. None of these revelations have an easy solution. As all parties discuss the matters, they receive word that the survivors of the Asfrosti army are gathering at the Grand Norzellian Mines. Forced to put all else aside to focus on driving out their foe, Serenoa and his comrades steel themselves for battle. The remnants of the Asfrosti forces are gathering at the Grand Norzellian Mines. Or perhaps I should say they are rallying there, preparing to defend it to the last. Something tells me you're right. Gustadolf may have used Lord Dragan's murder as pretext for invading Glenbrook. Yet I believe his true aim was to seize control, not of our kingdom, but of the mines. Once Glenbrook fell to them, Esfrost did indeed continue mining operations with notable zeal. Apparently, they transported huge shipments of what they excavated to the duchy, too. You mean iron ore? One would assume as much, but we do not know for certain. They say only a chosen few were allowed to have anything to do with the mining or transport. Odd, ain't it? Granted, the iron from the Grand Norzellian mines is supposed to be decent stuff. But the duchy has access to plenty of other iron mines of comparable quality. They've certainly no need to go to such pains to obtain resources from this one. You reckon there's something special about it? What my mother wrote of must be true. I've returned from scouting the Grand Norzellian mines. There were no signs of miners or couriers anywhere. The enemy's numbers do not appear that great. But the soldiers were occupied with some task within the mine. I cannot say exactly how many they are. Thank you, Huet. Well done. Well, there you have it. The Asfrosti army is scheming something at the mines. Whatever they are planning, we cannot allow them to continue unchallenged. Then let us reclaim the Grand Norzellian mines. And in doing so, we shall discover the Duchy's aims in due course. Glenbrook has withdrawn from the sanctions and reopened trade with us. King Roland is truly a man of his word. Furthermore, during the battle for the Crown City, our forces sustained nary a scratch, while the Asfrosti were all but crushed. We could not have asked for a more auspicious outcome. An outcome that would not have been possible without the Elfric we supplied them. Still, Minister Sarah Noah and House Wolfort must be given credit for aiding in our victory. Minister Exam, how strange to hear you lavish such praise upon another. I am only speaking truth. Leaving Minister Sarah Noah in Glenbrook's hands is unwise. I agree. As one of the Saintly Seven, he belongs here with us. Of course. We shall bring him under our thumb. The Holy One has plans for the young lord. Making him our creature has the added benefit of bringing his entire domain under Hyzantian rule. But I doubt his majesty will be so willing to part with him. Oh, indeed. And yet King Roland owes us a great debt. 
which will be all the greater after we help him rebuild the Crown City. We will so overwhelm him with generosity, he will be unable to refuse us anything. So, you mean to seize Glenbrook as well, Minister Edor? Somehow I am unsurprised. I seek nothing more than to spread the goddesses grace and wisdom. To Glenbrook and even Esfrost, until her divine protection shelters Noselia in its entirety. That is what the goddess desires, and therefore, what the Hierophant desires as well. Is this all of it? Yes, my lord. This is all the cargo we were able to carry. Our comrades at the mine should be putting the final touches on everything right about now. Hmm. And why is no one telling me what is happening? I don't even know what cargo you are hauling. We're only following Archduke Gustadolf's orders, my lord. Yes, I understand that. Stop your sniveling. Perhaps you may have heard the Archduke has summoned me to Ironstone. This may be the last time I serve at this fort. As such, I would like to show my appreciation for everything you've done. Do you have a moment? The sentiment is appreciated, my lord, but the Archduke insisted we make haste. And did he also insist you spit in the face of his uncle's generosity? No, my lord, of course not. I meant no disrespect. We shan't refuse your gracious offer. Come with me. Can all that cargo truly be not but iron ore? I suppose I shall have to find out what it is for myself. Were those the only ones? I do not understand. There were far more soldiers here when I came scouting. They've mined more since the last time we were here. Perhaps the enemy is further within. Likely that's the case. But navigating these twisted tunnels ain't gonna be fun. Indeed. The enemy may be waiting to ambush us around any corner. I advise we familiarize ourselves with the nearby tunnels before we head any deeper into the mine, Lord Saranoa. Agreed. Let's take care to cover our tracks while we look around.
Benedict, these spheres everywhere. Unless I'm mistaken, they're explosives. Yes, a means Lord Dragan devised for breaking through the bedrock. They aren't as powerful as blast crystals, but they are simple to set and can be manipulated to go off at the same time. Reckon I'll go collect whatever charges are left, my lord. Just to be safe. Thank you. I do not find it strange that there are explosives in a mine, only that they have been left here. Indeed. As deadly as they are, one would hope they were stored more safely. You'd think the miners would have put them at the far end of the tunnel if they meant to use them. But they're everywhere, along the whole length. If they were to detonate, the entire tunnel would collapse. Then they must have been left here on purpose. Intruders! Get them! The Asfrosty army! Welcome one and welcome all! Behold! You'll find no finer selection of exotic wares in all the land. Sparkling jewels, beautiful silks, and the rarest curio of them all. This automaton. It sings, it dances, it does it all. That's your cue, Decimal. Welcome one and welcome all. Welcome and welcome and welcome and What's wrong with that thing? Stay away! You blasted sack of screws! I bought you to learn customers, not scare them off! I am sorry. I did not mean to lose functional control again. Useless rusted heap of bolts! I've lost track of all the gold I've squandered on your repairs, and for what gain? But no more. I won't empty my coin purse trying to make riches out of rubbish. Ah, perfect timing! You there! How would you like an automaton to call your very own? What are you waiting for? Dance for them! Welcome one and welcome all. Welcome one and welcome all. Incredible, isn't it? Bet you've never seen its like before. Indeed, but... Then it's all yours! So long, Decimal. Be good for your new master! Wait! Fleet of foot, that one. What shall we do with it? Hmm, it wouldn't do to simply abandon it here. Perhaps it can be of some use to us. You'll look after it, won't you, Anna? If that is your wish. My name is Decimal. I hope I will serve you well, Master. Don't call me that. My name's Anna. As you command, Master Anna.
just look how you've grown. To think you'd produce such a bounty. And you flourished as well. I'm so proud of you, my lovelies. Quite the passionate one, aren't you? Oh. Don't sneak up behind people like that. Hasn't anyone told you it's rude? Apologies. I was just curious. What are you doing here? If you must know, I'm harvesting herbs. I thought I might make them into medicine for the injured. That would be helpful. Lord Saranoa will be pleased as well. <laughs> and I am oh so happy to please. I am quite taken with powerful people. People like Lord Saranoa. You'll tell him I'm doing my best to be useful to him, won't you? Wait. That plant. It induces paralysis, does it not? Quite knowledgeable you are. Did you know it can also be used for pain relief? The same plant can be both a poison and a medicine? Yes, depending on how it's used. And yet, people still try to force plants into one category or another. Good and therefore valuable, or bad and therefore detested. Foolish, don't you think? These little ones are neither good nor bad. They just... are. You treat them as if they were your children. Perhaps it seems strange to care for a plant, which is no more than a tool for making medicines or poisons, but... Minister Idor, about that experiment. I think we are on the verge of discovering how to better stabilize the subject. Wait. We are not alone. Show yourself! Milo, why do you eavesdrop on us? Don't be upset. As your spy, I thought it'd behoove me to keep abreast of important information. Unnecessary. You need only do as I instruct. But that would make me no better than a tool. Does that displease you? <sighs> Worry not. I take good care of my tools, so long as they serve me well. But should they act out of line, they will be disposed of. Even tools have feelings. What was that? Nothing you need concern yourself with. Anyway, I'm certain my herbs will benefit House Wolfort. Please pass on my warmest regards to Lord Saranoa. Cordelia, are you here without so much as a single bodyguard? Yes. Today I have come to speak with my people. Tell me true what troubles you. Oh my... Is that truly Cordelia? What's that ass frosty pawn of a princess doing here? How dare you besmirch her highness's good name! Say that again and you'll... Let them speak their minds, Huet. I'm here to provide, not to punish. Tell me what you need, plainly and honestly. Ugh. Might... Might you spare some porridge? My poor child lies sick, abed, hungry. We have food enough for all. I shall send you some out at once, and a healer to you as well. Fear not. Your child should be back on her feet in due course. Oh, thank you.
Thank you, your highness. All the rumors said she was a traitorous puppet. Yet, here she is, being kind and reasonable. She's always been a champion of the people. Your Highness, we beg you forgive us our slander. They're no longer quite so restless. During the Esfrosti occupation, I was sealed away inside the castle. I was but an ornament. Perched on the castle balcony, unable to speak to you as I do now. It is no wonder you believed as you do. No one stood before you to tell you the truth. Halt! Not one step closer! This frost may have been driven off, but now you've sold us to the traitorous house wolf forts! Aye! Lord Landroy's blood stains your hands! Our homes burned to the ground in the fighting. We'll take your head before you damn food! Refugees from the Falk's Domain. I accept full responsibility. You have every right to hate me as you do. What could she possibly owe you lot? Take it up with Esfrost. They're the ones who invaded our kingdom in the first place. The princess has fulfilled her duty. Alone, no less, with King Regna and Prince Franny gone. She put the lives of her subjects above all else. I'll not stand for anyone speaking ill of her highness. Not after she's pledged to save my child. Everyone, please! Brave souls of House Falks, pray hear my words. I understand that you see not in me but the enemy of your beloved Lord Landroy. I make no excuses for myself. Your lord loved this kingdom as much as anyone. Please understand that I love it too. Each and every one of us trod a path paved with pain and sorrow to arrive here today. But we must keep our eyes fixed upon a shared horizon, tempting though it may be to gaze upon the cracks in the path that divide us. I ask only that you keep your heads held high and join me in striving to rebuild Glenbrook to be stronger than ever before. I swear to you that I will give all of myself in service to this kingdom. I will show this with my every action, for I know that my words hold little purchase with you now. Should you feel that I have wronged you in you or lied to you once more, at that time you may have my head. Your Highness, Sounds like you mean it. If you'd go that far, I reckon I can give you one last chance. But mark my words. My blade shall claim you if you renege on what you've said today. May it be so. Most impressive, Your Highness. It would seem your words truly did reach the people's hearts. I can only hope this begins to heal the rift between the people and the royal family. Even if it means speaking to every last one of my subjects in person, I shall see it done. <laughs>